wagwan me youtube family and welcome back to another video so today we're showing you how to make jamaican style fried dumpling very soft and moist so you know fried dumpling is one of jamaica's tradition right we prefer to cook fried dumpling or we oftentimes cook fried dumpling on a sunday or as a breakfast option so for our breakfast option today we're making the fried dumpling with steamed cabbage and carrots and also some salt fish so we're just cutting the cabbage and we're also going to be mixing it with some carrots Next, we're going to be shredding the carrot. So first, you want to ensure that the carrot is washed. So you use a scotch brite and you wash off the excess dirt of the carrot. And then you're going to shred the carrot and blend it together with the cabbage. Over there, we also have some saltfish soaking. So you can soak a saltfish for about 30 minutes or so. And then you're going to scald the saltfish or boil the saltfish to reduce the salt from it. Afterwards, you're going to blend the carrot and the cabbage together. So to season the vegetable, we're going to add some salt to taste. We're also going to be adding our good old Maggi All Purpose Season. So you're just going to sprinkle some over the vegetable. You could do this into your pan that you're going to be using to steam the vegetable. Or you could just blend everything and then you pour them into the pan. Whichever works, just the same. So here we have the chopped cabbage and the carrot next we're going to prepare the vegetables to flavor the pot so we have some scotch bonnet pepper we have some thyme we have tomato we have scallion or green onions we have some garlic we have our butter there and we have our salt fish so what we're about to do is to chop them into smaller pieces to add to the cabbage and the carrot. So that's what we're about to do. We just have to cut up with seasoning. Alright, so after we chop up the seasoning now, we're going to blend everything, right? And also, we're going to add the butter. So the butter is what's going to um, steam the vegetables, right? So we're going to add some butter. Then we're going to blend everything and then transfer to the frying pan that we're going to use to steam the vegetables. So next we're going to place the salt fish into some boiling water 
and allow it to scald right or allow it to boil to reduce some of the salt from it then we're also going to transfer the cabbage the vegetables into the pan and allow it to steam Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, we're going to be making the fried dumpling now. So I'll place the list or the proportion to this recipe for the fried dumpling in the description box. So you can head on in the description box for the ingredients to the fried dumpling. So we're going to add some flour. Depending on your family size, you can always increase amount of flour that you add right after adding the flour we're going to go ahead and add some salt so you add the salt to taste so you're just gonna drizzle some over it afterwards we're also going to add some lasco yes guys we're gonna add some lasco that one you have buttermilk dumpling not even biscuit buttermilk dumpling guys i want you to go soft and moist me go show you. so we added some lasco some vanilla lasco then we're going to blend everything in guys and a normal dumpling them here you know a normal dumpling them everybody cook different this is how we make our fried dumpling and they are very moist and soft we're also going to be adding some baking powder. And afterwards, we're going to add some butter. So the butter will help to soften the dumpling. And then you're going to continue to blend everything in. So to make the dough, you want to add a little water at a time and then you blend or mix to get it combined. I'll put a link here in the top right corner so you can check out how to make a boiled dumpling. We also have a video on that so you can click the link in the top right corner to check that out if you haven't yet done so. Right? And then you're going to continue to mix it so this is how you make a dough using a spoon guys right so you're just going to continue to add a little water and then you mix little add little and mix so you can get the perfect dough
and look at our dough guys perfect so this dough now guys it is very easy to be molded in whatever shape that you want So to a frying pan, you're going to add some coconut oil. That's what I'm using, coconut oil. You can use the oil of your choice. And you want to ensure that the pot is hot, also the oil. Afterwards, you're going to mold the dough and place the dough into the frying pot. Okay guys, so the sawfish finished cooking. So what we're gonna do now, we have it in some water. So we're just going to remove the scales from it as well as the bone. And then we're going to pick the sawfish into smaller pieces. So once you place the dough into the frying pan, you just want to maintain low heat and then you're going to flip them on opposite sides until they are properly soaked. So you just maintain that low heat and allow them to soak properly.
all right so while we have the dumpling them over there so i go and soak we are gonna cook up the seasoning for the steamed cabbage you see them dumpling there guys trust me them they soft when i ask christ them soft and moist very soft you know watch them them soft all right so me like my dumpling them right so we're just sauteing the vegetables the seasoning the onion the tomato and the so forth with some coconut oil right then we're also going to add the salt fish and then uh, cook up everything i'll also place a link in the top right corner you can check out a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make steamed cabbage and a carrot jamaican style so just click this link in the top right corner All right, so the dumpling them finished now. So we just are gonna take them out of the pot and put them into a dish. You can also allow them to drain on some paper towel. All right. So while the salt fish and the season cook up, we just are gonna add the already steamed cabbage and the carrot to the salt fish, and then we're going to combine everything. And just cover the pot and allow it to simmer down for a little, about five minutes or so, and then you can turn it off. And here is our soft, moist, delicious dumpling. Fried dumpling, Jamaican style, from TZ and C Kitchen. I do hope you enjoy this video. If you do, hit that thumbs up button, like, comment, share with a friend. And if you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you can notify whenever we drop some authentic Jamaican recipes. If you don't ever believe me, take a close up look guys. These fried dumplings, very soft and moist, look at it them nice them soft chewy just like buttermilk biscuit they are very soft and nice and go well with this steam cabbage and carrot i do hope you enjoy this video want to check out more of our videos check these out